I followed missing children's cases in the news since the children involved were first reported missing. When Trezell and Jacqueline West were finally arrested and charged with the disappearance and murder of little classic and sincere Pettis, I was relieved. I always thought they were responsible. Does that mean that other parents I believe to be responsible for their missing children will also eventually be held accountable? Let's break down the facts. Anyone who has watched this channel for any amount of time knows that I've blamed Candace Bly from day one for what happened to her daughter, Summer Wells, and Don Wells for disposing of her remains and then covering it up to keep Candace and possibly himself out of jail. I've also made clear my feelings that aside from that evil Grandis, the only others who know what happened to Summer are her brothers and possibly Hunter, and either they still haven't come forward with the truth, or they have, and the HCSO and TBI won't act on it. They don't want to go after Don and Candace for an accidental death. I still believe that once Don Wells gets out of jail in early August, he'll be headed straight back up Ben Hill Road to the Blystye, with his son sent back shortly thereafter. I've heard the rumors, including the latest about Candace being pregnant. I'd love to end up being wrong about Don Wells and his sons, but if they all do end up back at the sty and Candace is pregnant by Benny, Ernie, or some random Billy Bob, how long do you think it will be before the shit hits the fan and all hell breaks loose again? I won't even bother with, how could a court even send those boys back if Candace is pregnant? I don't think they care about that or about how infrequently she saw her sons while Don was in jail. The state of Tennessee just wants those three boys out of state foster care. So we'll have to see what ends up happening there. Then there's little Michael Vaughn, who will be missing for a year next month. From the start, I suspected that Michael's father, Tyler Vaughn, was the one responsible for what happened to him. Since then, I've come to suspect that Tyler Vaughn's father, or grandpa, was the one who helped his son to dispose of the child's remains, and I believe that Michael's mother, Miss Neal, knows more about what happened to her son than she's let on. Speaking of Miss Neal, this is another mother of a missing child rumored to be pregnant. I don't hold this woman in much higher regard than I do Candace Bly and hope that neither woman is pregnant. Tyler Vaughn, in my opinion, while not in as much trouble as Trezell and Jacqueline West, is in bigger trouble than Candace Bly. I don't think it's very smart of him to just sit tight, holding his breath, and waiting for the police to show up at the door with handcuffs. He would have been a lot smarter to go to a lawyer with the truth and have that lawyer use lack of premeditation or criminal intent, combined with Vaughn's chronic drug use, to mitigate the circumstances and see if a plea bargain could be worked out to a charge of involuntary manslaughter. Once Vaughn is taken into custody, his lack of honesty will make this very difficult, if not impossible, and he'll end up with more serious charges. So while I wait and see what happens with both of these cases, I'll turn my attention to real-world problems faced by everyday people, given the drastic increase in gas, food, and housing prices everywhere. I see too many of my elderly neighbors now choosing between keeping cool in the summer and eating three meals per day. Golf carts are replacing cars on the roads with bright orange triangles everywhere around here. I'm sure that social media can be used to help, even in small ways, and this is what I'm also going to focus on while I monitor the status of missing children's cases. Stay tuned. <laughs>